right so over to you dr nishtha thank you muskan so guess let's start the tour today yes ready everyone yes, yes. ma'am all right so first let's see the location of poland so officially called the republic of poland it is a country located in the central europe so it is located where in the central europe and monaco which the one which arhan just you know mentioned about that is located in the western europe all right now poland is divided into 16 administrative provinces the area of this country is 312696 square kilometers it has a largely temperate seasonal climate it includes rainfalls also it includes summers also everything is included in it the population is around 38.5 million okay and poland is the fifth most populous member state of the complete european union it is the fifth most populous state okay and the capital and the largest metropolis of poland is warsaw okay now here is the location of poland in this map is it visible to everyone it's present over here it's like yes, a tiny piece of a huge puzzle yes true 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 where we are good so your tiny good. piece of yeah, the it wall is. actually it seems to be one of the 196 particular countries of the world It yes it looks like it looks like you're right it's too small too small yes it is it is too small there are countries much smaller surrounding it on the map right there you see there are yeah, much there smaller are. countries vatican city yes. is too too vatican small city right is the smallest of course and it will okay. and our poland is three small sorry and poland is three small <laughs> yeah right now the flag of poland so this is similar to which flag the flag indonesia. of indonesia, indonesia. yes indonesia. just an inverted one yeah so the indonesian flag is inverted as compared to this so here the national flag of poland features two equal horizontal bands of white and red so here is the white band and here is the red band that's all nothing else is there in the flag the white color represents um, the people of poland the red um, color um, your voice is breaking uh just a minute Came over here now is it fine not. it's fine now yes all right yes okay. ma'am okay thank you so this white color represents what it usually represents peace right white color is usually a representative color of peace yes so here again the same thing is there it is a hope for peace so this is why they have used the white color now the red color symbolizes the many struggles for freedom over the centuries so they have struggled a lot for freedom for many years many centuries so this is what that red color denotes now here is more about the flag so 1919 to 1927 after independence poland had no legal definition of red for her flag the government suggested that crimson red may be used for that the first legal specification of red for the polish flag was vermilion vermilion red am i audible to you all yes ma'am yes ma'am right. okay yeah so the second one was vermilion red okay this was set now the next okay, one was 1980 to up till now ma'am your okay. voice is breaking yeah there seems to be a problem with the connection in polish 
also for the freedom and everything. So, you know, big forts were a thing back then. So it probably helped them in the wars during those times. Map I mean, in yeah, the second sort world of like war. A, a military base of operations. Yeah, yeah. Military Man, base. In the second world on. war, the one of the city of the Poland was completely destroyed, but it's now very and very build up. Really? Yes, ma'am. Nishtha, ma'am? So you can say it's a yes. ruin. Start again? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Go on, please. All right. I'm clearly audible now, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, yes ma'am. All right. So here we were. So from 1982 even now, in this date also, the Court of Arms Act of 1980 changed the red back to a crimson color. Which one? This one, which was used the first time. All right. And crimson is a sort of dull red, right? Yes, right. And gave it the official trichromatic specification. So this is. But scarlet looks better. Yes, but then see their choice. <laughs> they liked it more, so maybe that's why they, you know, decided for this crimson color again. Yeah. Yeah. So Warsaw City is the capital of Poland. It is the largest city also of Poland. It stands on the Vistula River in East Central. Uh, there is a bit of disturbance from someone's side. Please keep yourselves on mute. Please keep yourselves on mute. Thank you. Yeah, so Warsaw City stands on the Vistula River in the East Central Poland and its population is officially estimated to be 1.8 million residents within a greater metropolitan area of 3.1 million residents, which makes Warsaw the seventh most populous city in the European Union. The city area measures 517.24 square kilometers, while the metropolitan area covers 6,100.43 square kilometers. Warsaw is an alpha global city, a major international tourist destination and a significant cultural, political and economic hub. Its historical old town was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So it seems it's a beautiful country, isn't it? And especially Warsaw. It's a beautiful city. Yeah. Yes. So now the national things of Poland. So the flag of Poland, we've already seen the white and red one. Yeah. Then, uh, Prakhar, please mute. Please mute yourself. Yeah. Then the white eagle, this is the coat of arms. Then Polish Zlote, this is what the national currency, this is the currency of Poland. Law what? And Zlote. Zlote? Yes, Z-L-O-T-Y. And this is equal to, you know, how much in Indian rupee? Just 19.12 Indian rupee. Uh, hold up, how much? 19.12 INR. Just? Indian rupee. Yes. Not much. Yeah, not much. Then the next thing is the icon of culture there, the Vowel Castle. So it is the place of castles, as uh, Prakha told us, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Then this is the European bison there. This is the national animal of Poland. It is the largest animal there. Then is pyrogi. This is the national dish there. Does it look like idli sambar to anyone? Yeah, it looks a bit like. Yeah. yeah. Idli is like momos. You can say momos. Yeah. Does it look like momos? Flattened ones. Uh, yeah, flattened ones, then it's fine. Okay, then the next one is the white tailed eagle. This is the national bird. Then the red. Poppy, this is the national floral emblem of 
fallen. So this is the currency one zloty is equal to 19.12 Indian rupee. So here are the banknotes 200, 100, 50, 20, 5, 2, 1 zloty. These are the banknotes for these figures and the coins here. Fine. So the coins are what? Grossy. Okay. Now, yes, Anj, you want to say something? Ma'am, in, in that currencies at the mm -hmm. notes, there was like one country, there was many faces, not one single. Yes, you're right, you're right. Abir. Okay. Yeah, so what is the official language of Poland? Of course, it's Polish. Fine. Now the government there. Poland is a country with a well-founded system of democratic government. Their republic is a multi-party democracy with a two-chamber parliament. The head of the state there is the president, elected by a majority of the voters for a five-year term or a five-year tenure, you can say. Now the government there, the president and the prime minister. See, it's a bit difficult to pronounce these names. We'll say them gradually, okay, very slowly. So Andre Duda. Yes, Arika. Ma'am, I also learned to pronounce the president name, Andre Duda. Wow, okay, Andre Duda. And what is the prime minister's name? Aware um, of it? Ma'am, no. No, anyone? Anyone Ma wants to? Yes. Next, uh, next we are visiting uh, which country? Man? No, this is not something you need to know in the middle of the tour. Yes. So I have written everything. Okay, okay, fine. Good. So the Prime Minister is Matush Morawiecki. Such a tongue twister name. Yes, Matush Morawiecki. And the president is Andre Duda. Okay. This is a little better one. Yes, this is better. Now the culture there. The Polish culture forms an important part of Western civilization and the Western world with significant contributions to art, music, philosophy, mathematics, science, politics and literature. Its unique character developed as a result of its geography at the confluence of various European regions. The Dingus Day is a Polish and Polish-American holiday. This is observed the day after the Easter Sunday. So this is always observed on the Monday after the Easter Sunday. And it is celebrated at the end of the Lenten season there. It's a joyful tradition that involves parades, parties, music, dancing, and food. Now, the climate. So, Poland has a moderate climate with both maritime and continental elements. You can count on many sunny days and many rainy days. And don't be surprised when the summer turns out to be quite hot or quite rainy. Winters are usually cold with temperatures well below freezing and more or less snowy. So winters are usually very cold there. Poland's climate can be described as a temperate climate with relatively cold winters and warm summers, which is greatly influenced by the oceanic air currents from the west, cold polar air from Scandinavia and Russia, as well as warmer subtropical air from the south. So we'll see it again from where does it get its climate. So it is relatively cold in winters and warm in summers, which is greatly influenced by what? By the oceanic air currents from the west. Yes, the cold polar air currents or the cold polar air from Scandinavia and Russia and warmer subtropical air from the south. Oh, so the Polish cuisine now. Can anyone name these for me, please? Okay. Okay. Try, try. Yeah. The first one is 
Turkey Kapus into yard. Yes, Turkey Kapus to yard. Okay. War saw donuts. Right. Then a Zurek. Okay, good one. White borscht. Borscht, okay. Then? Pike perch. Pike perch. Then? Pike perch. A pearl. Schnitzel. 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 Sure, it is sure. Schnitzel. Schnitzel. Yes. Schnitzel. The mutton, cupcake? mutton in cupcake sour cream. Cupcake, polish. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then the mutton, mutton in sour cream. Christmas carp. Polish sausage soup. There are more. Here oh, they are. So cabbage. Cabbage rolls and tomato sauce. Dumplings with potatoes. Hazelnut mazurka with honey. Then what is this? Sorcerers. Bigos, sausages, carp with sauce, quail egg ring, meat bread, and this is Faram Mushka. Yes, tough names, no? Yes, Arika. Yes, Mama. I what a nice so to learn these names. I will take ages because I can't even read it properly. It's very blurry. Yeah. Yeah, some of the names are very tough. Oh, to no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. so, the, very very nice. There is very difficult to pronounce it, but in that country, there is very easy to pronounce it. Yes, of course, you're right, Ansh. All right, let's come to the economy part now. The economy of Poland is an industrialized mixed economy with a developed market that serves as the sixth largest in the European Union and the largest among the former Eastern Bloc members of the European Union. So it is the sixth largest in the European Union and the largest among the former Eastern Bloc members of the European Union. Since 1988, Poland has pursued a policy of economic liberalization and today stands as the greatest success story of all the post-communist states of Europe. Its economy was the only one in the whole of European Union to avoid a recession through the 2007-8 economic downturn or crisis, which we can call. And as of 2019, the Polish economy has been growing steadily for the past 28 years a record high in the European Union and only surpassed by Australia in the whole of the world's economy. So only Australia has been able to surpass the economy of Poland. Okay, so we have a video and now we'll see the aviation industry first. Okay, then we'll see the video at the last. Okay, mom. Okay. Yes. The air transport industry, including airlines and its supply chain, are estimated to support US dollar 3.6 billion of GDP in Poland. Spending by foreign tourists supports a further almost US dollar 0.8 billion of the country's GDP, totaling to US dollar 4.5 billion. Now, which are the Polish airports? Oh, well, these are very tough again. So let's try these. So the first one is Dansk Airport, then Katowice Airport, then Krakow, Krakow Airport. Airport. Krakow, yes. Lodz Airport. Lodz. Yes. Poznan Airport. 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 Uh, Airport. 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 Sin, uh, Sin Airport. Yes. And Warsaw Airport. And Rokla Airport. Airport. Wow, good one. Good one, Aran. Very good. Funny names. Literally. Yes. Yes. Names. Names. yes. So here are the locations of international airports in Poland. So these are the international ones, not Poland the domestic Sin ones. Airport, Gazan Airport, Sin Airport. 
by Godzilla Airport, Warsaw Modeling, Warsaw Chopin, Lodz, Rocklaw Airport, Lodz Airport, Walkraw Airport. It's Rocklaw, not Walkraw. Rocklaw, Rocklaw. Airport. Yes. Lublin, then Lublin, Lublin, Lublin Airport, Lublin Airport Katowice Airport. Krakow and Airport. Airport. Yes, yes, Ansh. Ma'am, there is one airport I am seeing named Terracon here. Terracon? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, so the Lot Polish Airlines legally incorporated as Polski Limi Lotnis. L-O-T-S-A is the flag carrier of Poland, based in Warsaw and established on 29th December 1928. It is one of the world's oldest airlines in operation. The world's oldest airlines, one of the world's oldest airlines in operation. With a fleet of almost 100 aircrafts, L-O-T Polish oh. Airlines flies. Yes. LOD Polish Airlines flies to over 120 destinations across Europe, Asia, and North America. Most of the destinations originate from its hub at Warsaw Chopin Airport. LOT is a member of the Star Alliance. So, thank you so much. Now, let's watch the video about Poland. So, yeah. till the time. Yes. Best places to visit. In Poland, these were 40 different places. Sorry, yes, I couldn't hear you. These were 40 different places which made the video hugely humongous. Yes, and uh, you know yes, what? I was continuing in, in that video that was with a wolf animal, wolf type animal. He was mm -hmm. much, much, and much was. Seeing what the wolf wala animal tha, wo, wo similar dog. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's the national parks I was taking and taking only. Okay. Yes, Abir. Yes. Actually, actually, I see there are a lot of national parks with European bisons, and then there are these. There are hundreds and hundreds of places in Poland I see that have mount, mountain ranges. Yes, that's a good observation. That's true. What else? What else did you all like in today's tour? Everything it was that huge. I... What's not Sorry? to like? It was I huge. Also What's not everything to like? Except the tongue to... Yeah, the president and prime minister's name. Do you remember? Do, do. Um, no. Okay, just tell me the president's name. Something. Some yes. Some some, some, some what? Something and mug. Yeah, what are the names? Something like Andre. It's Andre Duda. <laughs> yes. Duda. Oh. Duda. Yes. <laughs> All right. Over to Rajshree, ma'am. Okay. So we have Go presentation on. from Rohita and Arika, right? Oh yes, ah. yes, of course. I'm so sorry. Yes. Okay. So we can present one by one. So. Ma'am, when we are visiting Japan, it's not Japan, it's Japan. Japan, not Japan. Actually, we are going alphabetically, so right now we are in P. Now, next country which we are going tomorrow? It's Qatar. Oh. Huh? So, we've crossed J's. Yeah. Next so, we're not doing Japan. Qatar. We already have a chance, so we're not doing Japan. Uh, what is the country's name? It's Qatar. Qatar. Oh, Qatar. okay. Ma'am, can I present? Oh, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Yes. We are making the robots and then we can pair them.
Ma'am, should I present or is Arika presenting? Okay, so Rohita, you can start presenting and then Arika will present. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I am sharing the screen. Uh, yes. Uh, can you see the screen, ma'am? Yes, yes, you have started. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, ma'am. Yeah, about Poland by Rohita. What is uh, Polish culture known for? Since Poland's population is overwhelming Roman Catholic, that means that many Polish holid holidays from Easter to All Saints Day, Christmas, follow Catholic traditions. National and religious holidays celebrated in Poland are marked by traditions public celebrations or days of rest and relaxation. Facts. Poland is so poor. Poland is the ninth largest country in Europe. Poland is a massive country. Poland is so safe. Poland has four seasons, autumn, summer, winter and spring. Poland's national bird is the white eagle. What is Poland known for? Poland is a historical country with 14 UNESCO World Heritage Sites and a collection of breathtaking natural corners, mountains and national parks, rugged coastlines and some unexpected natural wonders such as the world's oldest salt mine. Thank you. Very good. Now, Arika. Very nice, Rohita. Thank you, ma'am. Where did you get all this information from? Uh, I get that information uh, from so that nobody can know that. Like I get it from the net, but I search very deeply. Presentation was very nice. You Thank added you. pictures. Mommy, if I want to know something. I just go on Wikipedia. Okay. That there we get uh, the full list of things of that country. Yeah. And it will say, and it will say blah, 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 blah. The videos also are like, there are educational videos which actually work better than Wikipedia. So they give like pictures and colorful words and everything. It's easy to read and understand also. Yeah. So you can get that also. Okay, Arika, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Present. you may start. You may start. Welcome to Poland. Map of Poland. There are two colors, white and red. The red color symbolizes the many struggles for the freedom over the centuries. White color represents uh -oh, white color represents for the people for white color stands for the hope for peace by all the Poland. What is Poland? It's beautiful cities, states, amber jewelry and linens. Beautiful cities in Poland stately castles. So these are the stately castles in Poland. And this is the amber jewels. It is a yellow color gemstone. It's very famous there. Linen's photos. Places to visit in Poland. Tatra Mountains, Warsaw, Babel Royal Castle and Malburg Castle. Three interesting facts of Poland. Poland is the ninth largest country in Europe. Europe's heaviest animals live in Poland. Poland also has the world's biggest castle. Polish language. In Poland, they speak Polish. 
Here are some words translated from English to Poland. By we say pa, God we say pan book, day we say gen, today we say jish, and gold we say zwoto. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, wonderful. So you also learned a bit of Polish, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hear you. You got stuck. Can you repeat again? Ma'am, actually, I couldn't hear you for a while. Can you just repeat? Yes, yes. I yes. said that you learned a bit of Polish as well. Yes, ma'am. How did you like it? Ma'am, I liked it. And uh, ma'am, I actually was not able to unmute that time. That what did you like? I Poland the most. I like the amber jewelry and the cities over there. When I just explored the this amber is very pretty, no? Yes. Ah, the amber is very pretty. You say you also also mentioned that the heaviest animal. I think Abid also mentioned that before, right? Yeah. Mm, yes. So, how did you guys like Arika and Ro Rohita's presentation? Nice. Thank you. Is it that place nice? <laughs> yeah. Nice place. Even those cities are so the best. I also like. You also liked it. I also liked it. When are you visiting Poland? Tell me. Uh, you can say once I grow up. Okay. <laughs> A bit like in the third. Grow up. Grow up to what age, Aran? What is a grown up? What is a grown up age for you? Oh God! That is too. I feel, very far away. I feel twenty-five. From twenty-five. Twenty-five. So by twenty-five, you think you can go to Poland, huh? No, no. Just you will be grown up by twenty-five. Like I need to have some support. Oh yes, yes, of course. That's so true, Roheta. Okay, so thank you, Dr. Rishta, and thank you, Rajshri, for conducting such a smooth session today. So I hope all the guests have liked and enjoyed today's tour to the pollen. So yes, we'll sir. see you tomorrow and we'll visit new country. So I have a task for you all. You have to search about the facts of Qatar. So we'll meet you tomorrow at the same time. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Have a nice Bye, day. Ma'am, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye, ma'am. Have a nice Excuse day. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Arika. The country. I'll type. Type it in chat box. Tomorrow we are visiting Qatar. Oh, thank you. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. 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 The spelling is in the chat box. Spelling.